due to technical difficulties beyond our control. Shine Jamal Bayo is back in Belize. He arrived at 2.40 this afternoon at the Philip Golson International Airport, where he was met by family, fans, and the media. The famous rapper began his journey after 6 this morning when he left the detention center in Buffalo, New York, in the company of a U.S. Marshal. After stops in Houston, he landed as scheduled. News 5's Jose Sanchez reports from the PGIA. Prodigal Son Returns. Born Jamal Barrow, commonly known as Shine, the son of Prime Minister Dean Barrow, inhaled his first breath of freedom after nine years of incarceration for a club shooting in New York. That taste of freedom coincided with his homecoming at the Philip Golson International Airport this afternoon. More than the usual number of cameramen and photographers were waiting to get a glimpse of him as he exited the Continental flight. Fans were also waiting to see the rapper who changed his name to Moses Michael Levi. To witness Sean getting his freedom, that's my main thing to be, that's my main thing for being out here today. As a man who's into music, I and mean, what does this really mean for you? Well, right now everything means to me for Sean being out of jail is just the freedom and the celebrity status. I mean, we've known Sean before he had blown up to be on the TV and all that because he is a youth from King Spark. But um, now, my main thing out here is to just see him out and free. That's all I'm based on right now, to see him out with my two eyes and see that he's free. And when you're out in the club, should you be expected to hear some of Shine's music in the, in the clubs this weekend? Well, I've never stopped playing Shine. From ever since, I've never stopped playing Shine. I, I bought one of his original album. From he did his album, and from then I was a fan of Shine. This is my Belize and come back home with with stats. We call it the love stats, right. all right? And then we want to get a great go make a big one to Belize. And then after that, now we could go from there. We make all the money. Good to become economy anyway, you know. The guy I'm shining, I knew him from Chicago when I was over there. Never paid much attention to him, but he's a Belizean, and I'm so proud and glad that at least he come back home now. We could greet him with uh, with a lot of dignity, and only hope and pray that he can push his uh, his career in Belize. I know he might do it as much as in the States, but he will survive here because the people really like him and he will do it. He'll be, he'll, be do, he'll be doing good here in Belize. You think this time would, will allow him and his father to really restore the relationship that they didn't have for all the years he was out there in the States? Well, I presume so. I think, I think it's um, a closeness now, a family. Family closeness means a lot. And I guess that um, his, father, his father would uh, would be glad enough to do anything to help him in his life to progress. Uh, that's the support. Uh, that's good to see the guy. Do you listen to his music? All the time. Which particular song is it that you like? Bad Boys. <laughs> Was this the same way your process happened when you returned to Belize? <laughs> Nah, it wasn't the same process. You know, Sean is a giant, man, and that man has had some great accomplishments. And for him to get the, the publicity that he has gotten, is, is, you know, it's not no catwalk. He has done what it takes to get it, you know. So you can't expect, like, Sean to be treated the way as so any other deportee would be treated. But as a musician yourself, are you looking forward to meet Sean? Um, definitely, you know what I mean? It would be cool to meet Shine, and I'm sure we'll meet, you know? We didn't get a chance to meet in America, but in Smart Belize, hopefully we will. Shine emerged from the plane in a Harvard Law School sweatshirt and a pair of headphones around his neck. The rapper sported a full head of parted hair. He was hugged first by his godmother, then his manager and others, including one of his attorneys, Oscar Michelin, followed by Polo Lightburn. Emerging to meet him at the stairs of the VIP room was his mother, Indian Maivet. She escorted him inside for the processing of his freedom on Belizean soil. After greeting with his father in the privacy of the VIP room, Shine's uncle, Michael Finnegan, gave the media an update on his status. Shine is home. He wants to say how happy he is to be home and to be a free man. 
he would love to have a conversation with the media but because he was legally advised by Professor Overtree he must not speak to the media because he don't want to prejudice his situation any at all with the U.S. government or with the Belize government. So he, he asked me to ask you that he don't want to disrespect you, the media, but please to understand what is going on. You could see the tears and the hug and the romantic situation in there, especially with his grandmother, right? And with his father, with his younger brother, and while they hugged and never want to let go of one another. Will there be a family dinner tonight? Everybody, father included? And uncle? No, there will be no. We are not a formal kind of people. So we will play it by air. Well, his residence at my place is two weeks away from completion. So he has rented a complete floor at the Radisson for George Hotel. So every room on a floor was taken by him, whether he had used it or not used it. But he said that after going through the eight and a half years he has gone through, he needs some privacy. He needs not to wrong nobody. He needs just to sit down in isolation and contemplate his whole life and I think that we need to respect that. If you notice he has lost a extremely amount of weight. As as his uncle, what have you said to him? What were your first words to him? No. Come here, old boy. <laughs> That's all I said to him. How will he be small and raised up in there of Scala old fat? So come here, old fat. Come here, old boy. You know that, that we, how we greet one another when we talk by the phone. But he's in good spirit. He's in good health. But he's a bit frail. Shine, in the company of his brother Anwar, left the airport in a red Ford expedition towards a youth hostel on the Western Highway where he gave a pep talk to youths. Like the prodigal son, the former bad boy, returned home to open arms. Reporting for News 5, Jose Sanchez. As soon as Shine